Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a fun and really simple birthday card to share with you using a big sentiment to help me fill up my wide card panel. So I'm starting with this adorable image. This is the birthday cutie from My Favorite Things illustrated by Rochelle Anne Miller. Um, I love this adorable girl. I actually went through my um, older sets to just um, as I said in the beginning of the year, try to give them more use and to not forget about them. So if you also have this stamp set or another one that you have been neglecting, then maybe this video is just the one you needed to just grab that one stamp again and just create something with it. So really simple, only one image on my card as I do really often with clean and simple cards. Um, I'm using my Copic markers to color this cutie in, uh, really simple as well. Uh, I am having my light source sort of centered um, and I'm just working my way from my darkest marker to my lightest. I have repeated this in the past uh, quite a lot, but there are many ways to color with alcohol markers, not necessarily Copics, but also the other alcohol markers out there. Personally, in the beginning, I have been switching in between the different options from lightest to darkest going back on it um, from darkest to lightest and I actually tried in my first videos here on YouTube if you have been around for a while you know but in the beginning I really tried to change it up every time to just show you how many possibilities there there are but then since a few years I think uh, actually with the change of paper and oversaturating my cardstock too much um, I have decided to just work from darkest to lightest and that works for me the best. But if you prefer going from lightest to darkest or first add a base tone of your lightest and then continue from there, anything truly is an option and everything works. Uh, just find the technique or the method that works the best for you and stick to it. It's perfectly fine however you're coloring. Um, just get used to your method and enjoy it. So I'm using Transotype Perfect Coloring Paper, which is a really, really good paper to color on with alcohol markers. Uh, since I used it, I never changed to another because I'm really happy with the results that it gives. It can also handle quite a lot of layers, uh, but most of the time I need two layers to be happy with the blend that I have created. When it comes to colors, if you want to revisit uh, these combinations you can find them on my blog post um, as always uh, but as I also do quite often whenever I'm creating clean and simple cards is, the, cards is that I am reusing combinations so the dress, the balloon, the shoes have all the same markers and the hair and the how do you call it in English? Um, the fluffy, the cutie, the... I don't know. Um, in Dutch it is knuffel. So um, the thing she's holding has the same markers as the hair. And then the blue uh, elements will all have the same markers again. So in the end there are several parts on this image to color in. But you can really limit the amount of colors if you want to. You don't need to. You can do rainbow if you want to. Uh, but if you're a bit like me, then you can appreciate just limiting the amount of colors that you use. So I'm almost done with the coloring. I will take the matching die, cut this image out, and then I had to figure out the rest of my card. Now recently I have um, realized that I have this gorgeous pattern paper for my favorite things. Uh, this one uh, that I have barely used. I just used it once um, and it was on a video that I shared on the Rochelle Miller YouTube channel so if you want to check that out don't forget about it. Uh, I have used the sliver of this pattern paper and I really wanted to use it again and I thought that this one worked really great with my image. Now later on I must admit that there wasn't any space to use it on. It wasn't working anymore with my sentiment that I I'm going to showcase. Um, but yeah, about this sentiment, I used it uh, once in the past where I repeatedly stamped this sentiment and just the birthday, the scripty birthday, um, and left it as is. 
and if I don't forget about it I will link towards it but that was a really really simple card neat perfect for any gender change up the colors if you want to make it a rainbow if you want to really simple to recreate now the card that I was talking about with the pattern paper that I I shared last week I think on the Rochelle on the Miller YouTube channel uh, also is featuring this stamp set but there I am featuring the happy separate from the birthday uh, which is definitely also an option it depends on how your positioning is on your card now on this one I'm going to repeat as I did with the first card that I created ever um, but I am going to incorporate this time this cute image uh, which makes it a bit well it's a cuter card it's not a really simple simple card but still a simple card you will know what I mean I think um, so here uh, I actually compared the Concord in Mind um, colors that I have. Well, I have all the mini ink cubes um, and I just went towards my swatches to see uh, which one was working the best with my image. And so I went for all the pinks. Um, you don't need to, again you can Google rainbow, but as I had this really simple coloring, returning colors, I am trying that out with the happy as well. Also this happy, it's sort of five um, tiny squares of this grid. Uh, so I just make sure to each time shift it five tiny squares, lower or higher, and I can keep my stamp in place. That is the beauty about a Misty. I don't use this feature often, but um, it truly is a pleasure to use a Misty when you want to have repetition in your stamping and perfect spacing in between. So here I tried the pattern paper, but it wasn't working anymore with all of the pinks and the reds in my opinion. So uh, I had to change that up and I also originally wanted to create a frame with it, but again no space for that. Uh, so I took my Concord 9 card stocks and I actually uh, looked whether I could uh, repeat the blue so that I had the red in the sentiment and then have just a sliver of blue and the midnight cardstock is kind of the darkest blue in my combination of Copics so I decided to add that instead of the pattern paper but I promise I will use that pattern paper more in the future because I truly adore it now before adhering everything together I still need my secondary uh, well, or my second part of my sentiment being the birthday. And since I already used in the past that scripty birthday, I decided this time to use that neat birthday. Now I added it on my panel, made sure that it was straight, and then I needed again to shift my panel several times. Um, you can also clean off your stamp and then reposition it. But then you have, um, then you can have uh, the issue that you don't have it perfectly aligned and I think with clean and simple cards that taking the time to have the perfect positioning um, of things like this uh, really adds to your card. So I'm just shifting my panel each time, five tiny squares and then I'm stamping out the birthday on each happy. You can also add it on just one but I had no clue yet where exactly I was going to snip off this panel when it comes to my card base or where I was going to add the girl. Um, so I just done it everywhere. Now, as you can see, this panel is a bit too big, but as you probably also already know about me is that I cannot trim panels correctly myself. So I, I prefer having a panel that is a bit too large add it to my card base and then trim off all of the excess and have it perfectly to the size of my card base. In case your card base is like one millimeter too big or smaller, then you can have a perfect sizing by just trimming it um, on the edge of your card base. So I'm going to add this little girl using thin foam squares, so just a tiny bit of dimension here. And I ended up adding it more towards the lower part of um, the sentiment panel. I almost ruined it and I was almost crying, but um, I could get it off. Whenever you drop something, it's always as soon as you have added any adhesive because otherwise it wouldn't be a problem. So you never drop things 
when you have when you don't yet added the adhesive. It's like when you drop your um, sandwich and it is just on the side of well the goodies that you added on top. It's always the same. So here I am just going to add that sliver of blue on the edge. Also again it's a bit larger than what I need but I will trim off the excess. And you can definitely leave it as is. You also didn't need to add the sliver if you don't want to. But it just helped me balance out the pink and the blue. And then I added a few embellishments here and there. I, I tried adding more than the four that I will add eventually. Uh, but I just found it a bit too much uh, with all of the happy birthdays already. I didn't want to overload it with embellishments as well. So once I figured out where I wanted all of the embellishment to be, I used my liquid glue to add everything on top. I'm also going to add a bit of white jelly roll pen details to the eyes of the little girl as well as on the dress where you have this gorgeous pattern. And then I will add some glossy accents to the balloon because it's so much fun to add it to the balloon. So whenever I can I will do that. But before adding all the glossy accents I'm just trimming off the sliver. You can also snip it off if you want to but again my capacities aren't that big so I'm just using my, tri uh, my trimmer. And then before adding my glossy accents I tend to add purple tape to hold my card base closed because in the past I didn't and then the glossy accents tends to run towards the well gravity side. Um, so this way it will dry flat then just a tiny hint of white jelly roll pen details and then my card is completely finished. So this is a simple card but with this big bold sentiment you can easily fill up that wide area that might be a bit daunting for you. Um, so I hope that this card can inspire you in any way that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for being here. I wish you all an incredible day and I'll be back soon with some new crafty inspiration. Bye!